just want to add on a little something about the greenhouse that I've started here. It's really not a greenhouse, it's a planting area, but it is in the form of a greenhouse. But anyway, I will admit, I hate plastic greenhouses. I think they're one of the ugliest things imaginable. But I don't plan for people to, for one thing, I don't think people are gonna see this greenhouse that much, but second of all, guess what's here? I just set this Zephyrine Drewing rose here. And this is this is the time for me to sing the praises of Zephyrine Drewing Rose. She is she's an old garden rose from the 1800s. She is thornless. No thorns. No thorns. She has a glorious vibrant pink a uh, darker pink, not, not well, not not quite that dark, not as dark as, the, but but on, in that range of bluish pinkish color, a dark bright pink, not not in other words, not pale pink. Uh, bloom when she blooms, she will grow fast. She is hardy. She is strong, and before and she is controllable. You can prune roses. So my intention is for this Zephyrine Druin to grow up, and I have pictures of, of, of this rose doing the very same thing in other videos, up and over and cover the top of this, uh, of this greenhouse so that you're not gonna really see, you're not gonna see the greenhouse from the front. On one side is a wooden wall, behind that is which camouflage is the air conditioner. The other side I have iron fencing uh, and then a screen porch. So so I planted that this knowing that this is a potential problem, but not something that Zephyrine Drewing can't handle. The, the, although Zephyrine does die back in the winter, her, her leaves, she's, She's deciduous, in other words. Behind that, and I planted this early, early spring. If you see, if you can see, there's a shoot of it right there. That's Carolina jessamine. It's it's a fragrant, fragrant yellow bloom blossom that is that is an evergreen vine. That that will cover this this greenhouse before you know it before i know it and so i i'm not gonna although it's ugly today guess what that's what the beauty of a garden what's ugly today is glorious tomorrow before you know it you're gonna think this is one of the prettiest places in my garden you're not gonna see my little planting structure back there at all all you're gonna see is visions of sugar plums dancing. <laughs>